Hi everyone, so today is going to be the start of my car shopping vlog. Um, if you've watched my recent vlogs, especially like my vlogmas, I talked about how we got in an accident, um, I think about a week ago now, a week and like a day. So my car was totaled and I've been obviously looking to buy a new car because I don't have one right now. We've been looking online a few places and um, we kind of narrowed it down to a few we wanted to see in person. So today we're gonna go and start looking at the lot and seeing kind of what these cars look like in person. Um, we are gonna buy used because I feel like that's just like the best way to go. Obviously you can get a lot better deal for usually cars that are still in really good condition. We've been looking at a few different types. Um, I'm really leaning towards an Audi. Um, I think it's the Q3 and the Q5. And also I've been liking the Range Rover Evokes. I wanted to upgrade to a little SUV because I actually had a hatchback sedan. I drove a Kia Rio. I liked having the room in the back, but I don't necessarily like the look of hatchback sedans. So I was like, why not get a little SUV? And I figured I can use this like for more years to come. If I had like a really small car, I'd wanna upgrade it again. So I figured like, oh, I might as well just do it now. I knew I'd probably upgrade my car soon anyways, but this is kind of forcing us to do it now, which um, it actually worked out well because I think we got a lot more for the car now, like with it being going through insurance that it would have been if we just kept it and sold it in a few years. So not that I'm saying it was a good thing we got in the accident, but I think we're actually getting a pretty good amount for it and it will obviously go towards this new car payment. So yeah, we're about to head out and going to look at a Range Rover today. Today is Sunday and we realized a lot of the lots are actually closed. I guess that's like a thing where they're like all closed on Sundays besides this one. One. We were hoping to do all of the shopping today and kind of pick one today, like after we saw all of them. But since we can only see one, we're gonna try and do the rest tomorrow since the rest of the lots are open during the week. So I'm gonna take some clips while we're there and kind of show you guys. back from the first lot um seeing the Range Rover I actually really liked it um I've been leaning more towards the Audi I think just by like looking at the pictures and kind of seeing what they offer but I actually really liked the Range Rover and the more I think about it I'm kind of leaning towards it this one wasn't in perfect condition and we're trying to see another one we weren't able to see it today but hopefully tomorrow I talked to the guy on the phone and he said that like three other people have already called about it so hopefully we still have a chance to see it tomorrow um, the one we saw today was white and the one that we were going to see tomorrow was black. And I think it's like a level up, like the package, it's like the premium plus or something. So you get like all leather interior and the one downside about this one that we saw is there's no like sunroof. And that was the one thing I was like so excited about seeing in like all of these cars we've looked at. They've all had the panoramic sunroof and I thought that's so cool. And I didn't even realize that this one didn't have it until I did the test drive. So that's like the main drawback. And there's a couple interior like cosmetic issues, some scuffs, but it ran really well. I was able to test drive and I really, really liked it. It's in really good condition overall and at pretty low miles. So it's definitely a contender if for some reason the black one uh, gets snatched by someone else since apparently other people are interested. I think sometimes they obviously say that though and it's like not true because they just want you to like get in and look at it. So we'll hope for the best tomorrow, but that one I know has a sunroof because I looked at the picture and it has a little bit less miles and I think it's actually listed cheaper so it's definitely probably the better deal we're obviously going to be able to negotiate i think especially the other one is kind of priced high for what it is compared to the other one and they actually had an audi q5 that i was able to look at um we weren't going to get that one because i think that was like super new and more expensive because there was like barely any miles at all i'm fine having a little bit of miles on it especially if it's like a nicer car so he kind of showed us that one because we told him we were also looking at those at some other dealerships so he showed me one that they had because we told him we were interested in those as well um, I don't know. I feel like I didn't get the same feeling as I did with the Range Rover, but I still really like them. And the one that we're looking at, hopefully tomorrow, is black. So the one that we saw at their dealership was white, and it was actually the Q5. And I think we're leaning more towards the Q3 because there's a really good deal on one at um, a lot close by our house. So yeah, I showed you guys some clips of the ones we saw today. Um, like I said, the Audi isn't in the running specifically, but we like that model a lot. There was one just like that that we have listed somewhere else. We might leave that as like a last option if the other one the Audi that we're gonna see tomorrow if that one like gets goes away for some reason because that's probably the best deal that we've seen and I'll show you guys when we go and see that one but 
we have like a top Audi and then a top like Range Rover, I think, that we hopefully will see tomorrow. So I guess I'll pick up the vlog tomorrow whenever we go and see the rest of the cars. So it's the next day. Um, John is about to pick me up and we're going to go see some more cars today. We're going to meet my dad at the first place that we're going. They have another Range Rover that we're going to look at, but this one's black and I think um, it's upgraded a package. I think I might have talked about this already. He's about to get me and we're going to head there. And then there's one more like closer to home that we're going to see um, just on our way back. That one's the Audi Q3 that we've been looking at. So really excited to see these. Um, I talked to the people on the phone today and they said that they're both still available and at the lots for us to see. Again, I'll take some clips and I'll obviously add them in so you guys can kind of see what we looked at today. But yeah, I'm really excited to see these and then hopefully we'll just decide between the three. Um, we did some research online and we just haven't like seen any more come up that we're interested in looking at. So I think we have good options out of these three and hopefully one of them is gonna work out. I go like this and it's all sky because the sunroof's so big. The other one didn't have a sunroof, so this one's already winning. So it's definitely gonna be between this and the Audi. No, I know, but it didn't seem as luxurious as it should, honestly. So I'm in my car. I'm so excited. Um, obviously we decided on a car and here I am sitting in it right now. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell by um, just Kind of the inside, you can probably figure out which one we got. But I got the black Range Rover Evoque that we looked at. Um, I know we only looked at a total of three cars, I'm pretty sure. So we had the white Range Rover, the black Range Rover, and then I put a really brief clip of the Audi that we went and saw. Um, it's an Audi Q3. And I was actually really excited about that one. Like, we all thought that that was going to be the one that we liked the most. So we had really high hopes for it. But when we went and saw it, it honestly looked, like, cheaper and just less nice than this one. When it came down to deciding between the white Range Rover and the black one, the white one had a lot more, like, cosmetic issues. And I think it had a little bit more miles. And it was already priced higher um obviously we could have like negotiated but this one was already listed cheaper so we just thought this one was a great deal for what it was it has really low miles and i just never even thought this would be like possible again this was mostly possible because they gave us like a really good amount of money for my car like more than we even expected from my old car so i was able to put that towards this and i'm just so excited it's literally amazing i just want to be in here all the time i want to like sleep in here i just i'm so excited to go anywhere now because i'm like God, I get to go drive my Range Rover. Obviously it's not brand new, but um, I didn't need that at this point in life and I got a really great car for a really great deal and I'm just so ecstatic because I keep saying it, but I'm like, who would have thought that I would have gone from driving a Kia to a Range Rover. This was definitely like a goal that I thought I would achieve much later in life, but I'm so glad it worked out the way it did and I'm just so excited. As you can see, it has the amazing panoramic sunroof. Sorry, the camera just moved. Well, I did like the white exterior, but this one I think, I, I don't know, I kind of liked white and black evenly, so I was totally fine going with the black. The white one, it also had like half leather, half fabric seats. So I really liked the full leather that this one came with and obviously the tan interior is so pretty. My old car had black and um, the Audi we went and saw also had black. Black. So I was really like sad because I I kept thinking we didn't even like buy this one then and there when we saw it because we were like Oh, we still want to go see the Audi and like I said, that was the one in our mind that we were gonna probably pick But once we got there, it was just we were all really underwhelmed and it was kind of disappointing I loved the Audis we were looking at and I thought it was a really good brand and I was scared to like miss out on like having an Audi Because I thought it would be like really nice and luxurious and I was like I don't want to like regret being like oh I could have got that Audi But then once we went and saw it, I was like the Range Rover so much nicer and I don't know, I mean like Range Rover is always something people hear and they're like, oh yeah, they're really nice cars. But even brands like Audi, BMW, Mercedes, like those are obviously super nice too. So um, I didn't like the Mercedes and BMWs as much, which was like the, like in the model that was equivalent to these, kind of like the small SUVs. So we didn't even look at any of those. So it really was between the Audi and um, this one. I think the Audi Q5 is a lot nicer than the Q3. Um, I put a little clip of a white Q5 that we saw at the same dealership as the white Range Rover, but um, that was out of our price range for one, and it's just obviously you're paying more to get a better car. Because we're like, oh, we can go with a Q3, and I'm sure it's really similar because they're like the same thing, just like a smaller version, but it just was not nearly as nice as the Q5, and even the Q5 I didn't like as much as the range. So just after considering everything, we just found this was the best decision, and I'm so obsessed, so happy. I 
I'm so grateful and this has just been really fun. I'm getting used to like the push to start so you just have to like turn it back on because I've been sitting here with just like the air on. But yeah, I'm, the sunroof is probably my favorite part. So when we saw the white one didn't have it, I was like, okay, that one's out. But yeah, it's so nice. I've really enjoyed it. It has like the navigation and I'm just so excited. I'll give you guys like a full tour. I don't know. I might film that a little bit later because I'm kind of in a rush. But I'll show you guys some clips of the outside and then I'll probably just go through if I do have time either tonight or in the next couple days. But um, I just wanted to film this clip because I'm about to go out and drive it and go shopping a little bit. So I'm so excited and it's just crazy. So here are some clips of my car. Sorry, the sun's about to set, so the lighting's not the best, but I'm so in love with it. I think it looks so nice from every angle. Here's the front. It actually has some water spots on it right now because um, it's been a few days since I filmed to the beginning of this video. But yeah, we're going to like refinish the letters and just do some kind of um, cosmetic work on the outside. But other than that, it in such good condition and i'm so obsessed oh i just love the look of it and it's a perfect size it's exactly what i wanted because i wanted an suv but nothing too big like i said i am gonna do um like a full car tour eventually but this is kind of an overview of the inside um i don't have well the keys over there so it's pushed to start here and then this comes up and it's like the um gear shift it has like the ambient ambient whatever lighting um i can change the color of this i usually have it white but the other day i changed it to pink like i don't know just for fun and yeah like i said it has all leather um pretty roomy in the back i know everyone that's ridden back here so far has liked it and said it's been great and y'all know already how obsessed i am with the sunroof so yeah this is just a little look of the inside and then yeah this is the display that has like um navigation phone everything like that but yeah, it's nice just driving every day and having this really nice, luxurious interior. And I love the logo on the steering wheel. The lights are really cool because they're like touchy. Like you don't really have to like press anything. I don't know if I told you guys, but the window itself doesn't actually open. I don't know if I can do this with the cars off, but I usually will just um, leave it open because there's like a fabric-y um, piece that comes and closes this part. But I usually just leave it open because I get home at night and i park in a garage at work so there's never like there's sun beating down but yeah that was the little overview so if you guys enjoyed this vlog kind of seeing me go around looking at different cars and deciding on a range rover um like i keep saying i couldn't be more excited so i hope you all enjoyed and thanks for watching